So here we have a battery that gets very hot during charging at 5 amps. And the charging MOSFET gets like 65 degrees and the cell below it gets like 40 degrees. And it has a temp sensor rated for 65 degrees Celsius. But on that, we tested it on another battery pack and it's not working, at least from what we can tell. So I'm gonna show you how to test if a temp sensor actually works. These kind of temp sensors have a metal thingy uh, that bends when it gets hot. And you can adjust the thickness of that metal thingy to uh, make it bend at different temperatures. We're gonna check if it has continuity. Yes, it has continuity. That means that it's normally on. And when the BMS sends a signal, it just goes back and then the BMS knows it's okay. But if it gets hot, it usually gets turned off. We can have that one still attached to the BMS and we're gonna test it. It's kind of hard to get an exact temperature on it. Uh, we have a heat gun that is 350 degrees. We can actually monitor in real time when they stop working, if they stop working. We'll probably not hear anything because of the heat shrink the heat gun. But you can hear that and watch the signal. It should go from 00, zero to open line. It's kind of similar, but. That actually worked. Gets very hot. So the temp sensor worked and it didn't stop charging. And so we know the temp sensor works, but it doesn't stop um, stop the battery from charging. And this one has trickle charging, so it has to have charger connected to it, and it's kind of complicated right now, so we won't test that. Uh, but this is how you test the temperature probe on batteries, if they actually work. Uh, can we figure out what temperature it stops at? Well, not exactly, but we can get to the ballpark maybe and see if it's about 65 or if it needs to get a lot hotter. We are gonna connect these ones. Make sure we hear the beeping sound. And we're also gonna have, let's just switch that one. I'm going to have a temp probe connected to this. I'm going to have fin tape. We need a lot of it so <laughs> it doesn't fly away or sail away. Uh, so, 28 degrees right now. You can see both of them. Let's start. There we hit 65. There we hit 100. The tape is almost burning up. About 125. Uh, the temp sensor is a little um, closer to the heat than the actual metal pin over there. But I think that's a little bit too far away. If the battery gets 120, the battery needs to get 125 degrees for the temp sensor to switch, then it shouldn't be marked as 65. Then, then you should have just for the plastic and stuff like that. So yeah, the temp sensors work, but they do not work until this one gets about 125 on the outside. Yeah, so not really a reliable temp sensor. Don't, don't, don't trust them until you test them. This is a very unscientific test. Uh, don't trust me, try it yourself. And if you have a better method of trying uh, testing temp sensors more precisely, uh, let me know. Uh, after this kind of test, these ones are probably damaged. But if you have any problems with them, you can just uh, twin these parts together or install a new temp sensor. That one that maybe works.